Hi, here we come with the geometrical representation of the complex numbers. First of all, we learn about the real number or real number line. So real number line is a line, a one dimensional thing, which has a zero and all sort of real numbers can be pointed on it. So when we talk about the complex number or the geometrical representation of a complex number, we have to add a new dimension to the real line. Real line can only represent real numbers. So we have to actually, actually we have to add a new dimension to the real line. And a new plane is formed. By doing that we, we form a new plane. What is a plane? A plane is a two dimensional uh, figure where there is length and breadth. So let's see. Here we come. This is called a plane which has two axes. This is called the real axis. The x axis is called the real axis. And the y axis is called the imaginary axis. So this x axis represents the real line. So any point on the x axis represents a real number. So if we talk about our complex number take the example of a plus b iota the real part of the complex number we have already discussed this in the uh, in another video of complex numbers so real part of the complex number is a so this real axis will represent the a the imaginary part of the complex number that is B will be represented or will be put on the imaginary axis the y-axis 2 plus 2 iota so this is first 2 is the real part of the complex number so we will consult the x-axis so this is the point and another 2 is the imaginary part of the complex number we will consult the y-axis and we draw perpendiculars to the x-axis and y-axis and it will meet somewhere that will be the complex number or that will be the point to represent that complex number the point of a complex number now this looks like a simple Cartesian coordinate plane a simple plane but the difference is this is a line and when we add a new dimension to this line we get a plane and this plane exactly looks like a Cartesian plane used in the coordinate geometry but here the y-axis is solving the purpose of the imaginary axis or the for the imaginary numbers or the imaginary part so there, then uh, we come up with uh, another term, Argand plane. Argand was a mathematician. It is just a name. The plane of two axes representing complex number is the Argand plane. So Argand plane would be something, a plane, what we have already seen in the previous slide. It has the x axis and the y axis. The x axis is the real axis and the y-axis is the imaginary axis so and the, this makes a plane so this plane is actually this whole plane is called the Argand plane Argand plane can represent complex numbers or complex numbers can be represented on the Argand plane it is very simple this is a plane a two-dimensional figure on which we can represent complex numbers and this is called the Argand plane now comes the Argand diagram Argand diagram is a part of Argand plane the diagram which represents complex numbers so this is a particular diagram in Argand plane alright so in Argand plane this is the Argand plane in which 
we can have a particular a particular diagram suppose we represent a plus b i here where this is a this is b this is the x axis this is the y axis this is zero so this representation of a plus b i is the argon diagram of a plus b i so this we are representing a complex number here this representation of a complex number on the argon plane this is the argon plane is an argon diagram so on this argon diagram several complex numbers can be drawn or infinitely many complex numbers can be drawn thanks very much for watching this video and I request you to please subscribe please subscribe CBSE plus